subscribe to Dr. Khalkar's classroom channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In my previous lecture videos, I have explained topics electromagnetic waves, interference, diffraction and polarization from unit number one that is wave optics. Please go through playlist if you have not watched my previous videos. In this video, let's discuss problem solving on wave optics. So let's get started. Problem number one. What is the frequency of violet light with 400 nanometer? As we have already explained in the electromagnetic waves topics, the relation between frequency, speed of light, wavelength and the energy. So the solution of this numerical is as follows. The formula is given f is equal to c upon lambda, where c is a speed of light that is 2.99 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second lambda is given that is 400 nanometer so let's convert it into meter that is 400 into 10 raised to minus 9 of meter as nano stands for 10 raised to minus 9 so let's put all these values in the formula therefore f is equal to 2.99 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second divided by 400 into 10 raised to minus 9 of meter so if we calculate this we will get the final answer that is 7.50 into 10 raised to 14 per second as frequency is nothing but 1 upon t that is the time the frequency is inversely proportional to the time so if we convert this unit in terms of the frequency so f is equal to 7.50 into 10 raised to 14 hertz so this is the solution of first problem problem number two what is the energy of violet light with frequency of 4.48 into 10 raised to 14 hertz? So the solution for this problem is as follows. Formula is E is equal to H nu. That is energy is equal to Planck's constant that is H into frequency. The value of Planck's constant is H is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule sec where the frequency is given 4.48 into 10 raised to 14 hertz so let's put all these values in above formula so energy e is equal to h nu that is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule seconds into 4.48 into 10 raised to 14 hertz so if we calculate this we will get energy 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 19 of joule so this energy is in joule so let's convert this energy into electron holes so e is equal to 2.97 into 10 raised to 19 joule divided by 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 as one electron hold is equal to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 of joules so we will get the energy is equal to 1.85 electron holes so this is the solution of problem number two Problem number three, which is based on interference. A parallel beam of sodium light strikes a film of oil floating on water surface. When viewed at an angle of 30 degrees from the normal in reflecting light, eighth dark band is seen. Determine the thickness of the film. Refractive index of oil is mu is equal to 1.46 and wavelength of sodium light is lambda is equal to 5890 angstrom unit so for this numerical the solution is as follows here the given parameters are the angle of incident i is equal to 30 degree refractive index of oil is mu is equal to 1.46 wavelength of sodium light that is lambda is equal to 5890 angstrom unit and for 8th dark band so n is equal to 8 
So we have formula according to the Snell's law mu is equal to sine of i upon sine of r that is angle of incident divided by angle of refraction. So according to the interference the condition for minima is 2 mu t cos of r is equal to n lambda where mu is a refractive index t is a thickness of the film where r is a angle of refraction n is a order of spectrum or the band and lambda is a wavelength. So let's first of all find out the value of r that is angle of refraction with the help of Snell's law. So mu is equal to sine of i upon sine of r. So mu's value is given that is 1.46 is equal to sine of i angle of incidence is 30 degree. So sine of 30 degree divided by sine of r that is angle of refraction. So sine of r is equal to 0.5 that is sine 30's value divided by 1.46. So if we calculate this we will get 0 0.3424 and that is the sine of r. So after calculation the value of r is equal to 20 degree. So this is the angle of refraction. The thickness is given by condition for minima is we can calculate by rearranging the condition of minima formula. So t is equal to n lambda divided by 2 mu cos of r. So thickness t is equal to n, n's value is 8 that is the 8th dark band, 8 into lambda's value that is 5890 that is in angstrom unit so convert it into meter. So one angstrom unit is nothing but 10 raised to minus 10 of meter. So 5890 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter divided by 2 into 1.46 into cos of 20 degree. So after calculating this we will get the thickness t is equal to 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 of centimeter. So this is the solution of problem number 3. Problem number 4 which is based on the wedge shaped uh, air film. So a wedge shaped air film having an angle of 40 seconds illuminated by monochromatic light and fringes in reflected system are observed through a microscope. The distance between the consecutive bright fringes was measured as 0.12 cm. Calculate the wavelength of light used. So the solution of this numerical, the given parameters are here. The angle of wedge film that is alpha is equal to 40 seconds. So let's convert these seconds into the radians. So alpha is equal to 40 into pi divided by 60 into 60 into 180. So we will get 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 4 radians. So the distance between the consecutive bright fringes is given that is the value of beta that is equal to 0.12 centimeter. For the fringe width we have formula beta is equal to lambda upon 2 alpha. Therefore, rearranging this equation, we can write lambda is equal to 2 alpha into beta. So let's put the values. Lambda is equal to 2 into alpha that is 0.12 into beta that is 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 4 radians. So after calculating this, we will get 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 of centimeters, which is equal to 5000 angstrom unit. Now let's see problem number 5 which is based on the anti-reflection coating. A thin film of magnesium difluoride that is MgF2 of refractive index 1.38 is coated on glass plate in order to reduce the reflection from glass surface using interference. How thick coating is required to produce minimum reflection at the center of visible spectrum of wavelength 5500 angstrom of unit. So the solution for this numerical is as follows. Given parameters are the refractive index of MgF2 is mu is equal to 1.38. The wavelength of light that is lambda is given 5500 angstrom unit. So in centimeter 5500 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter. And for normal incident angle of refraction r will be equal to 0. Hence cos of r is equal to 1.
the formula for this numerical we can use 2 mu t is equal to lambda by 2 so according to the anti reflection coating theory so thickness of coating t is equal to lambda upon 4 mu that is by rearranging this equation therefore t is equal to lambda's value 5500 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter divided by 4 into refractive index that is 1.38 so after calculating this we will get t is equal to 0 0.9963 into 10 raised to minus 5 of centimeter so this is approximately equal to 0 0.1 micrometer so this is the thickness of the film which is required to reduce the reflection of light from the surface of the glass now let's see the numerical on the topic that is diffraction so let's say problem number six a slit of variable width is illuminated by red light of wavelength 6500 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter at what width of slit the first minima will fall at an angle of 30 degree that is theta angle of diffraction now let's see the solution of this numerical given parameters are wavelength that is 6500 into 10 raised to minus 8 centimeter angle theta is equal to 30 degree and order of spectrum that is small n is equal to 1 we have formula as per diffraction at a single slit that is a sine of theta is equal to n lambda where a is a width of the slit theta is angle of diffraction n is order of spectrum and lambda is a wavelength as here order of spectrum is n is equal to 1 so rearranging this equation we have a is equal to lambda upon sine of theta after putting the values in this formula we have 6500 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter divided by sine of 30 degree so width of slit a is equal to 0 0.13 into 10 raised to minus 3 centimeter so this is the solution of problem number 6 now let's see next problem that is problem number 7 which is based on the frown of diffraction Calculate the angular position of the first minima in front of a diffraction pattern of slate 10 raised to minus 4 cm wide if it is illuminated by light of wavelength 5000 angstrom unit. So the solution of this numerical is as follows. Given parameters are wavelength lambda 5000 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter. So 5000 angstrom unit converted into centimeter. The width of the slit is given a small a is equal to 10 raised to minus 4 of centimeter and order of spectrum n is equal to 1 so by using the similar formula that is a sine of theta is equal to n lambda as n is equal to 1 theta is equal to sine inverse of 1 into 5000 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 10 raised to minus 4 so after calculating this angular position of first minima that is theta is equal to 30 degree so this is the solution of problem number 7. Next numerical is based on diffraction grating. That is problem number 8. A monochromatic light of wavelength 6560 angstrom unit falls normally on grating. The spectral line is diffracted at an angle of theta is equal to 19 degree 19 minutes from the normal in the first order. Find the grating element so we have to find out grating element in this problem the grating element is nothing but a plus b where a is a length of opaque area and b is the length of slit so a plus b is a grating element given parameters are here lambda is equal to 6560 angstrom unit so we can write 6560 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter order of spectrum n is equal to 1 and theta is equal to 19 degree and 90 minutes so we have formula for the diffraction grating a plus b sine of theta is equal to n lambda as n is equal to 1 so the grating element we can write a plus b is equal to n lambda upon sine of theta so after putting the values in this formula 1 into 6560 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by sine of 19 degree and 90 minutes so after calculating this we get 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 4 of centimeter so this is the grating element 
now next numerical is based on the resolving power so problem number nine a plane grating just resolves two lines in the second order calculate the grating element if d lambda is equal to six angstrom unit where the wavelength lambda is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeter and the width of ruled surface is 2 centimeter so the solution of problem number 9 is as follows given parameters are lambda is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeter and d lambda 6 into 10 raised to minus 8 of centimeter so order of spectrum n is equal to 2 and the width of grating is 2 centimeter so we have formula for the resolving power that is lambda upon d lambda is equal to small n into capital N. So small n is order of the uh, spectrum and where capital N is the number of lines to rule on the surface of the grating. So capital N is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by 2 into 6 into 10 raised to minus 8. So after calculating this we will have capital N is equal to 500. So therefore number of lines per centimeter as we have 2 centimeters width surface. So 500 divided by 2. So we get 250. Hence the grating element we can write that is A plus B is equal to 1 upon capital N. So A plus B is equal to 1 upon 250 lines per centimeter. So finally we have grating element 0 0.004. So this is the solution of problem number 9 next numerical which is based on the polarization two polarizing plates having polarizing directions parallel so as to transmit maximum intensity of light through what angle must either plate b turn if the intensity of the transmitted beam is to drop to one third so solution of this numerical is the intensity of light is i is equal to i0 upon 3. So initial intensity i0, so it is dropped to one third, so divided by 3. So the first initial intensity i is equal to i0 upon i3. So as per Mahler's law, i is equal to i0 cos square of theta. This is the Mahler's law we know. Hence, as i is equal to i0 upon 3, so i0 upon 3 is equal to i0 cos square of theta rearranging this equation we can write therefore cos square theta is equal to 1 upon 3 or cos of theta is equal to plus minus 1 upon under root of 3 so by calculating the value of cos we can write theta is equal to plus minus 54 degree 41 minutes or plus minus 144 degree 40 minutes so this is the solution of numerical number 10. So this is all about numericals. So these all are sample numericals and there are so many solved and unsolved numericals in the book. So you can go through it and do the practice. In my next lecture video, I will discuss about unit number 2 that is laser and fiber optics. So please don't miss my upcoming video. Thank you. Below this video in the description, the link of important information related to this video is given. Please go through it. Please like and share this video and subscribe to Dr. Khalkar's classroom channel to get the notifications about my upcoming videos. Thank you.